and dealers here and today I got another house building video today I'm building a Victorian style house which I like to call the Victoria Hill building this house was both a pain in the ass but also kind of fun Victorian style houses are usually very complex and it's really not that easy to build maybe you can see it in the video that it's not just a big square with a roof it's actually pretty complex for a house uh, it's not the best Victorian style house I have built but it turned out good I think maybe you can tell me what you think um, doing the roof really took a lot of time it's really complex to do Victorian style roofs and uh, I had to redo it a few times I think but in the end it turned out pretty good uh, as you see it takes a really long time I think the next part is the wallpapers when I'm done with this roof I also had lots of trouble with the wallpapers of this house it's I didn't know what color to go with so I went with a light blue and white but uh, finding the best the looking wallpaper was really hard actually eventually I actually went with this blue one instead of the other blue one which you'll see soon which I just tried out but in the end it turned out pretty good one thing you need to think about when you're doing Victorian style houses is towers you have to have towers on your Victorian style houses that's like one of the key ingredients of a successful Victorian house and the usual designs of Victorian houses are very complex as you see this is not just a simple square it's well it's actually quite complex uh, but it's really funny to do and you learn a lot about building when you try it out but eventually well this is what I come up with so this house is uh, I didn't like the garden of this house it turned out okay but uh, I really need to practice my landscaping a bit more but well as I said it's it's okay here I'm going for the windows and uh, doors and stuff this really has a lot of windows because you want a lot of natural lights in your houses and uh, well that is for all houses not only modern houses which, which also has a lot of uh, lots of uh, windows and stuff uh, as you might hear I'm a bit uh, nervous because I'm not used to recording my own voice that feels really weird so I'm sorry about that we'll need a little bit of practice before I became better so I might stumble on my words a little but hope you don't mind so soon I think I will be starting on the garden which turned out okay as I said but not as good as I wanted it to I went for this simple grey stone Rick Stone, it has a little pool there too which actually fits the house a little bit went better than it thought not often you see Victorian houses with pools not in real life at least um, here I'm doing the what is it called? walls and now I'm placing out some flowers and stuff uh, oh yes doing dirt around the house it's actually it looks more realistic I think I believe uh, a few other youtubers do the same and that's where I got the idea I think uh, the same supply of flabliki or how you now pronounce it was the first one I saw do it and I tried it and I liked it 
And yes, it's okay to copy other uh, people's ideas if you like them, as long as you give them credit for it. And I like that idea. Here I'm going with a lot of trees and bushes because I like the natural feel about it, but it's really hard to pick out the right trees because you don't want them to be s too big, you don't want them to be too small. If they're too big, they will clap clip right through your house and that's just annoying um, if they are too small it just looks weird here I'm going for the lights I might have been placing out too much light outdoors but well what can you do about it it's well here's a little dining area outside just to fill this little area up with stuff if you get my drift well now I'm doing the inside actually I placed out most wallpapers when I didn't record so don't get confused when you suddenly see a lot of rooms soon that have wallpapers which I don't actually put out in the video so you won't you won't see me putting out any wallpapers more than this ones in this room, the kitchen, a very small kitchen, but I liked it. I will have a dining area right next uh, to it, which is also kind of small, but I like it a bit compact. I I'm not sure why, but I like it that way. I've been trying to uh, fill my houses with lots of stuff, making it rich, but not going too much or too little. I don't like having a lot of open areas. I don't I don't know why but to me I don't like it. Here's the bathroom, toilet, whatever you wanna call it. Which I went with a brown yellow thingy. And what do we have oh here's the dining room. It's right next to the to the kitchen actually. It's not that big, but I like it anyway. And one thing you really need in your house is plants. You need lots of plants. I like plants. Uh here is the kinda like a living room area, one of two actually. This is on the downstairs. I Here's there's no TV in the upper on the upper floor there are will be a little bar area here. Well just to well it feels comfy that way. You will see pictures in the end of the video of it. So you can see it a little bit better and not this just getting this by watching this. Uh I really try to work on details on this house. Sometimes I'm quite bad with details. Sometimes I overdo it. I don't know how well I did in this one. Oh yeah, here's the garage. Garage, whatever you like to call it. I know a lot of people complain about how uh, Curtis Perry say it. I say it garage, garage. I say it like different all the time. In Sweden we say garage. So now you know a little bit of Swedish. Well here's I don't know what to call this room. This is just like a hallway. And here is another room with just a couple of well bookcases stuff and a stair up to the second floor. I got two stairs. This spiral stairs in this house. I think they really fit in the towers of the house. I think that looks good. And well, we are at on the upper floor now actually. And another hallway, another hallway, a lot of hallways. I'm really bad at making a good layout on my houses because I never have a plan. I just build it. I build the outside to look good and then I try to make the inside fit what I made. Here's 
well, also kind of like a hallway with a seating area and here's another hallway here comes the living room up doors with the TV I had a hard time finding good looking furnishings so I went with the luxury green set with three those couches and chairs doesn't look really comfortable actually I think but well I think it looks good though I tried keeping the school uh, the house looking old school because it's a Victorian house and the Victorian style is kind of old school here's the master bedroom very red actually like it here's the walk-in closet uh, which I think the other bedroom also got I didn't know what to make in here but so I just placed out some random objects to fit and uh, well paintings and a grandma watch or whatever you like to call it here's the upstairs bathroom uh, blue and white looks a bit more modern than the downstairs one also I have a lot of problems fitting like there's not much of decoration that fits inside a bathroom and there was the room I didn't know what to do so I placed a drawing bench now here's the oh what's now I'm dizzy oh here's the other ba bedroom it's kinda it looks more luxurious but it's actually made for I think a teenager or something like that having a well it's quite simple not much here's the last room I didn't know what to build here at all so I made a bar I made a table where you can sit and stuff like that I had no idea what to place in here actually so this is what I made and soon you'll see pictures picture uh, lots of pictures actually for some reason I can't enter picture mode in the sims so uh, it's really tough to make a good looking picture so you just get this kind of pictures on the inside to see how it looks I forgot to remove the squares outside but I hope you don't mind uh, well here's the kitchen here's the bathroom downstairs bathroom uh, here's the TV area on the upstairs I hope the sound sings good with the video so you won't see one room and I'm talking about another one <laughs> as I said in previous videos I'm really bad at uh, uh, what do you call it making videos like copy and paste and everything like that it's very hard actually for me I'm not I'm just a simple gamer usually but I will get the hang of it s soon enough I hope here's the downstairs area again living room on the first floor eating place in the room here you see to the kitchen and here's a close close up here's the what do you call it bathroom that's the word I was looking for now some outside pictures like street view kind of thing then you get like a view from up front I don't know satellite pictures whatever you wanna call it oh outside area you see here and here with the pool and here you have like a view of the backside another one a bit angled and here we got it the pics 
of the house on the ups from above and well I hope you liked it that's all for me thank you hope you enjoyed it